Have you heard of this new term called dispersed camping? Some people call it remote camping. I like to think of it as camping off the grid. Basically it means just camping outside of a designated campground. There's no facilities, no restrooms, no running water, no electricity. The advantage is that it's free and usually these spots are just amazingly beautiful and peaceful and quiet. The tough part is um, if you're going, if you're just going to go backpacking, you can camp just about wherever. But if you have an actual motorhome or a camper, it's a little bit tough because you need to be able to get it into the woods. So I went up to the western portion of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan last weekend, and I was scouting out some uh, remote camping sites in the Ottawa National Forest. So I actually found four awesome locations. I spent about four and a half hours, drove like 85 miles. Um, I've got video of those four campsites and I've actually put them in order. Oh look, it's my little friend Caroline. Let me turn the camera around. Hi Caroline, how are you today? I brought you some cashews. I did. Are you hungry for breakfast? You little sweetheart. Let me finish my video and then I'll give them to you, okay? <laughs> She's so sweet. She tracks me down. Hi, cutie. They're in my pocket. So anyway, I put these sites in order and actually I'm holding a Facebook event July 1st through the 15th if you want to come join me camping. <laughs> She's almost right up my leg. And um, if you actually want the GPS coordinates of these sites, I will share them with you after my Facebook event is um, over with. <laughs> So uh, a link for the Facebook event is in the description of this video. But as I mentioned, these sites are in order. My favorite one is first, my least favorite one is last. So let's get it on. All right, so this first remote camping site that I found is just one and a half miles away from Beaton's Lake, the public boat landing. And um, it appears that they have closed off some county roads in the Ottawa National Forest which make for great spots to potentially camp in. So this one here actually has sites on both sides of the road. So you can see it's quite sizable. I'm not sure how many campers you could get in there, maybe six or eight fairly comfortably. And then right across the street, there's kind of like an overflow section where you could get even more campers than that. So here's the county road they still maintain, but then over here, you know, like I said, it's almost as if they've closed off some of these roads and they've kind of barricaded them with uh, piles of dirt and, and brush. But the cool thing is you could camp right here and beyond this barricade would be a natural, or not a natural, but it's an old road that would make for a great hiking trail and you could potentially have campfires back there and all that stuff. So I did some research and they do allow campfires. I came from Colorado recently and a lot of campfires were banned, which is kind of a big disappointment. But you see, they've barricaded this road off, so they clearly don't maintain it anymore. But uh, check that out. You could hike for miles and miles back there. And then upcoming here in a second, I'll show you Beaton's Lake, which is beautiful. I thought it'd be fun to do some rafting or kayaking. So check it out, what a beautiful spot. This is actually at the public boat landing. And uh, it's not a huge lake, which is perfect because if it was too big, you wouldn't really wanna go tubing on it because it might be a little bit too rough, but. All right, so this next site coming up is near some waterfalls. And there's like almost a big dune back there. Um, there's a little bit of trash has been left behind. I see people have been shooting shotguns like target practice back there which isn't very cool, but I thought if I camped here, I could actually get it cleaned up. So there's that huge sand dune back there. And then once again, there's all these little nooks and crannies that would make for good private campsites. And then this is just coming up to the road. There's more camping on the other side of the road. This is a smaller road than the previous campsite, but I almost like this side of the road better because there it's uh, really private with all the trees 
And um, up here, I'll show you in just a second, there's a really great spot just off to the left. I mean, that would be a beautiful campsite. Check that out. So off to the left here, there's a really private spot, which I think my camper would fit nicely into. Yeah, check that out. Beautiful. Surrounded by pine trees. All right, so now this one here, um, I really love this site. I mean, it is huge. You could fit 20 campers back here. So let me turn it around and then walk this way. There are also some private spots along here as well. The reason I chose this as number three is because it's across the street from a river, which is awesome. But um, as I was traveling, I noticed um, up through Wisconsin, there are a lot of billboards for mosquito control uh, companies. So I was just a, a little bit curious about being across from the river. The mosquitoes might be really bad. I don't know. But I'll show you here in a second. I mean, look at this. Just beautiful. I mean, wide open. Um, you could pull your camper in here fairly easily. I didn't see any soft ground at all. There's some beautiful pine trees. I mean, there's uh, 200 yards, I bet. Goes all the way out. And then once again, up here and to the left, there's another really private area that would make for a great spot. So the river is actually beautiful. I don't know what the, the bed of the river, if it's mucky or if it's rocky, but I was just nervous that it was gonna be so many mosquitoes. So look at that, right back here, that's actually a really big private site. Ah, that would be beautiful. I would love to pull my camper back there. So let me walk down the road here just a tiny bit and show you this river. The, the way it's laid out, it almost reminds me of kind of wetlands, wetlands, marshlands, which made me think, ah, oh, it might be just loaded with mosquitoes, but it's hard to know. I was just thinking if there's anything that's gonna ruin my trip, it would be, you know, getting bit up by mosquitoes. So this road is maintained quite nicely. This is actually just maybe a mile from the waterfalls. I visited six waterfalls while I was in the area. Um, a couple really big ones, a couple fairly small ones, but regardless, they're just beautiful to be near and um, hike towards. So the river is up here on the left. It's a beautiful looking river. I just might be teeming with mosquitoes, as I mentioned. So you'll have to let me know what you think in the comments section of this video. I did some camping in Florida, got bit up massively one time, and it's kind of scarred me for life. So look how beautiful that is. I mean, fishing, I don't know if you'd want to go tubing, but you could definitely bathe in the river if you needed to. Yeah, so I love this spot. But All right, so I got one more spot. So this is another one where they've kind of closed off an old county road, but it was just a great spot for maybe just a couple of campers. I took a video because I thought, well... If nobody shows up to my event, maybe I'll just use this one on my own. But once again, right beyond that barricade, you could have a campfire or do some hiking. It's just a beautiful area, and the ground is nice and solid. Let me know what you think. All right, what do you think of those four sites? I mean, they are just beautiful lakes and rivers and waterfalls. I've actually reached out to the creator of the Free Roam app to see if he wants to collaborate with me and find a way to kind of locate these sites and add them to his app. I mean, I would pay for that. I spent a whole day seeking out these sites because I didn't want to go up there with my camper not knowing if I'd be able to find a site. So there's something to it. If we could somehow locate these sites, do a paid version of the app, I'd love to collaborate with him if he happens to be watching. But as I mentioned, come join me camping July 1st through the 15th. Check out my Facebook event. If not, uh, contact me after July 15th and I'll be happy to share these GPS coordinates with you. The Ottawa National Forest is beautiful. I mean, huge lakes and uh, beautiful rivers and tons of waterfalls. There's actually about 14 waterfalls that I located on a map in the Ottawa National Forest. But anyway, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel. Have an awesome week. We'll see you next time.